trending news. Namdi Kanu fought Buhari's aid over Biafra. The indigenous people of Biafra, IPO, Namdi Kanu, on Saturday disagreed with the statement credited to the special advisor to President Momodu Buhari on media and publicity. Femi additional that Buhari was not against the people of Biafra. Namdi Kanu describes such a statement as a complete falsehood, adding that it can only deceive the gullible ones, but certainly not those familiar with history. The IPOB leader, who spoke in a statement by his media and publicity secretary, Emmanuel Powerful, maintained that Biafra citizens had suffered enough persecution and killings at slightest provocation on several occasions. The truth, rather, is that people of Biafran have continued to be victimized and victims of state persecution and calculated em elimination. Biafrans have been slaughtered at the slightest provocation of several occasions since the unholy amalgamation of Biafra in 1914, the Nigerian government and her partners in crime are sponsoring the killings and atlas massacre of Biafrans since 1945 till date. It is still fresh in her memory how this present federal government, led by President Mamadou Buhari and his cabals, killed innocent, peaceful and unnamed members of IPOB in Aba, Onicha, Inkbu, Mwara, Asaba, Egwecha, Enogun, Owiri, and other cities. The killings have continued unabated, he said. Fulani terrorists, Boko Haram, and terrorist group have continued to slaughter with reckless abandon Christians in Nigeria, particularly Southern Kaduna indigents and be Afrans in their farms and villages. Yet, the federal government has done nothing drastic to stop the genocide. Ordinary, dis ordinary disseminating the killing Etman terrorists has become a difficult task for the federal government, which ironically tagged unnamed IPOB, a terror group, with the speed of light, how does the government, which pampers globally acknowledged terror groups, but suppressing the killing and the kills peaceful agitators, want to probe the innocence of bloodshed? He queried on their on sustain of on their unsubstantiated, unsubstantiated claims of being the best thing that has ever happened to Ndigo. IPOP is challenging Femi Adeshino, also easy, and their likes in this government to show Biafrans. Biafrans and world at large what they did and what they did and where, where, this, where this government and cabals cited they cited any tag targetable federal project in Biafran land. It is very appealing that the federal government would not show where their imaginary projects are located in the southeast since five years. This government took over office on 29th of May 2015. We wonder why Nigeria government we claim to have executed 59 different projects in Nigeria and spent 680 million naira in Southeast alone without showing or mentioning where those projects are being cited. We are leaving Nigeria in the shortest possible time. Time for this fake, concocted and deceptive news have gone and there is nothing anybody can do 
to change our resolve to restore Biafran freedom and independence from Nigeria. Thank you, viewers, for listening to this short news. I'm just wondering why there are no, um, that we don't have governments, we don't have real governments in this country. The governments we have are fake ones. They are governments that don't even they don't they don't care about their citizens. These governments are governments that are so selfish. What they know is to loot money and looting money without even sharing with the citizens. They loot money and share the money am among themselves and enjoy the money with their families without even thinking of what the, the, the citizens will be going through. Imagine what happened during, President, during the, the first lockdown, President Modu Bari ordered. People, billionaires and companies, they gave President Momodou Buhari, they gave the government money to share to every every Nigerian citizen to stay at home without even feeling that they are at home. Because they know quite alright that some people feed, eh, eh, some people struggle to get to, to feed their families. So this money is being given for this for two weeks to sustain them with. But what happened? The money wasn't given to to this uh, Nigerian citizens, Nigerians, uh, uh, the poor ones. Instead, they share the money among each other. Is that fair? Is it this kind? This is this the kind of government we should be proud of? Is this the kind of government we should re-elect again? It's not possible. We can never suffer the third time again. The first time he came, he he he, he pretended to be nice he pretended to be a good gov a, a good government he contested the second time again the second time that he contested he showed nigerians and northerners that he is not as nice as the way they saw him or as way as way he was in the first time do you think that in this third term he will be re-elected no they can never support him we can never vote for him look at his, his people in the north they said they will never vote for president Momodou buhari they will never support president Momodou buhari never they will never support him so for the for his people to say this kind of a thing hmm, what do you expect for the northerners to say such a thing what do you expect from the south east and the south south do you think they also will support? They will never support. Since his people, his indigents, says they will never support, never supported his coming back. Will they support him? Even if he's not contesting as any position in this country, he has already given himself a, a, a mark that people in this country will never forget. Even the other countries, they are saying, um, evil things about Nigeria. They know what Nigeria is capable of doing. That Nigeria is the number one corrupt country in the world. Outside countries are are not supporting Nigeria. So you do you think that is is the Nigerian citizens that will support their, their 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 president? It's not possible. It's never going to be possible. I know that God has answered our prayers. This is why in 2023, God will make a way and compensate us by bringing the person that will give us peace. That will give us peace and there will be unity in this country. So I hear Namdi Kanu is an able leader. He should be the person that should be ruling the country, not the person on seats. Namdi Kanu is supportive has conscience, is uh, free, it has integrity, is not someone that stole or that steals or loots uh, money without sharing it among his people. It's carried the people along. 
that is it. So I heard Namdi Kanu, the leader of IPOB member, his enemy must surrender and fall this 2020 as a marching year of Biafra. Up IPOB, great nation. Nigeria, IPOB has become a, a, a nation already. No matter who, no matter the haters, no matter who, eh, eh, who has refused to support Biafra or Unamikano struggle, all I know for sure is Biafra has gotten its independence. So, viewers, you have heard it all. Your comment concerning this news is very much important. Please don't hesitate to drop them below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to receive updates whenever I publish new videos. Thank you.